Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here and had a bit of a relaxing weekend except for the fact that my daughter decided to wake up at 4 a.m. I know all the parents out there can definitely know what I'm saying. But we have 26 properties today and we'll start off with 100 mil side number 1101. It's 219. Maintenance fees are just under 400 bucks. It's a one bedroom and it doesn't look like there's a den, even a flex space with a den where you could have a guest like a pullout bed or a Murphy bed can really make a nice difference, but they've stayed extremely well and you've got kind of a southwest view there great amenities it's more of an older crowd in the building but this one looks pretty good uh, I mean the question always arises do you go for a two-bedroom for maybe about 270 or so uh, comparatively speaking I think they both have something to offer so cost again uh, I don't know which unit it is. It has kind of a weird five level here but 3049 it's about a, a I guess a thousand square feet it's actually a funny comment about that. I'll show you that in a second. I wish they had taken more stuff off the counters so that the stuff that's there can really showcase, like for example, the granite counters and all the rest of it. Looks like a pretty clear view off of there as well. And here's the part that I thought was funny. It's a 68.8 square foot balcony. So you have my permission, listing agent, to round up on something like this. Okay, I don't need to know about the 0.8. I trust you, it's close enough. So anyhow, Edwards, 344.9, it's a Bryant model, it's 1235 square feet. And so we're talking about uh, hardwood floor on, floor on diagonal here. Um, stainless steel microwave, but the rest of the appliances are black. I still think it looks pretty good, though that room is about as much stuff as you can fit into it. It's a smaller room, and the master's not too bad. It's got a walk-in closet with a window, and there's a fully finished basement. So these guys are going to do really well. End of August is what they're looking for, but that's a great home for the the money. And Bundy is at 353. It's a smaller model. They both only have one full bathroom upstairs, but this one has a finished basement. So between the two of them, I would definitely take the previous one, but I think this one on Bundy is actually playing not too far from where they need to be, but by far... The previous one has better value. Now, short read is 389. It's an Emory model, 1370 square feet. And so we're looking here, very open concept layout. A lot like the Bryant, but it's a bigger model. And uh, you look inside here, I mean, it just got the beds, and then you've got your fully finished basement, and you back onto the park here too. So it looks like you don't have a lot of space to, uh, to mow back here, so it's probably pretty low maintenance but you do have easy access if you wanted to, to get to the park, it's right around the corner. So nice stuff. I mean, there was a model that sold like two months ago. It was a little bit bigger than this with all the same features and it was way up in the forest. So I think they're in a good place. 620 Ferguson, number 25, 394, 786. And it's a big open concept layout. It's about 1550 square feet. Um, the eating area is off to the side of the kitchen. Then you've got a couple. You've actually, the room here is a little bit small. There's not a lot of space here. And then you've got a bigger room, and the master's huge, and then there's a finished basement. So, probably not that far off the mark. It definitely should be under 400, but with the finished basement, it might push them up a little bit higher into the 380s. Scott Boulevard is at 4099, and so we had the same model as this one recently that just got an offer for like 40,000 more. It was beautiful. There's no photos on this one, but it, it might fetch. It might ride the coattails of the other one who did really well. Now, Thompson, 424.9 is the price on this one. And uh, it's a Westgate corner. Westgates usually sell very well. It's an end unit townhouse. Typically, there's kind of a turret, possibly even a wraparound deck. And it says carpet all inside. It seems like a bit of a stretch. Usually, the ones that are getting up in the 420s have a little bit more upgrading. And I always say, if you're on Thompson, you, you probably should take a bit of a hit on your price. It doesn't always happen. So astute buyers, definitely pay attention because when markets turn, we start to see locations like Thompson really start to have an influence on the price in, in a bit of a lower direction. So Jarrett Crossing, I believe this is the one right on the corner of Scott and Jarrett. So I think it faces Scott. So 434.9 is the price. It's a big, big, big open concept floor plan here. And uh, there's your front living room. Kitchen looks great. And uh, California shutters. There's three bedrooms. They're all a really nice size. And then you've got a partly fenced, fenced uh, backyard as well. You know, I've seen models like this sell for right around here, so I'm sure they're going to do just fine. Uh, it's nice that you really share no interior walls with the neighbors, that it's just the garage that's attached. So 
Savaline is four thirty nine nine. It's a smaller uh, detached home. It's about thirteen seventy eight square feet. We don't see this model very often. It looks pretty good to me. It reminds me of some of the older Mammy models. This is almost like a Powell kitchen, but nice upgrades in here. You've got the computer desk. I mean, what do you want for a detached under 450? I think it has a lot to offer. The fact you can see some trees from the yard. I don't know where this is exactly on the property, but if you're anywhere near that stuff, which it looks like you can kind of see trees behind, I'm sure they're gonna do really, really well, um, possibly even sell for more than asking. Houston is also detached. It looks like it's a double car garage, but some of the ones on Houston are a garage and a half, so it's hard to tell without the photos. Four sixty-five nine. You've got some hardwood floors, three bedrooms upstairs, and there's a cold cellar down in the basement. Uh, Savaline semi-detached, four sixty-nine. This one, all we know is it's over two thousand square feet. It's got hardwood on the main level. Not a lot to go by, so we'll have to wait for the photos on that too. So whenever, when you're watching the video, just check the link below the paragraph below the video, and you should be able to find the, uh, the, the pictures. As soon as they're loaded, they're put right up into that link. It's an active link. Now, Kavanaugh is at 469.9, and so it's basically one big room with a kitchen. Then there's a little tiny room just off. You can see it right here. And so, it, yeah, the kitchen looks good. No complaints there. What do you do with that room? I guess it could be an office or something like that, but it's very small. And, uh, and then upstairs, you've got your three bedrooms and you back onto a pond, which I think is really nice. So 469, they're probably not gonna last too long as well. Caldwell backs onto some of the new construction, so my caution would be definitely check and see what's going on behind here. Is it gonna be townhouse detached that's gonna have a factor in the value of this one? And so hardwood floors, very, very open concept floor plan. And then there's four bedrooms upstairs. Very well staged, well done. Nice blue sky definitely helps those photos. And uh, yeah, it's a nice inviting yard. Um, it's Cost Corp was the builder on that one. Now, Boostfield's relisted. They had it at 499. It's at 489 now. Uh, double car garage. It's a pie shaped lot, so it's 118 deep. It says 34 wide, but it actually widens out bigger in the back. I've had a lot of clients email me about this one. And the comment that I usually have is, did you know that it's electric baseboard heat? That can have uh, an impact on your carrying costs if you're not managing it well. If you do have it set up properly, it can get close to what most people are spending with, uh, with gas heat. But anyways, that's the one thing to, uh, to the one hole you could probably punch in this one because it's a renovated double garage with a pool. There's four bedrooms. There's so much going on with this one. So I think that it's uh, it's got a lot to offer the uh, the potential buyer. Mockridge 489, it's, uh, it's one of the spirit plans. It's 1835 square feet. Beautifully done inside, very nice. I think that normally we see the kind of good to average ones sell in the 470s. This one definitely deserves to be up in the 480s, no doubt about it. Upgraded kitchen, you've got some pantry. You've got an actual open door pantry. You've got your front office here, which is where those bookshelves were, and uh, awesome stuff. Very, very well staged. Three bedrooms, so you've got your laundry upstairs on that one. Costkin's at $4.99, and uh, nice to see a couple double car garage homes right around the 500. There hasn't been a lot of new blood in the last week, week and a half, and uh, this one doesn't look too bad either. It's got the front. So if you actually look at the rooms there, you've got your living dining, and then you've got your kitchen on the main floor, and then there's also a family room. So when you have that, you're looking at probably at least 2,200 square feet. So they're all good there. I think that's a good price range. And you've got the walkout balcony on the second level too. Farrington Crossing, $4.99. And so it's a big living dining here. You've got your family with your kitchen. And... Uh, People like really open concept, but what I say sometimes to them is that having a half wall still gives you that eye level open concept, but it gives you a place to put your couch because sometimes when it's so open, it's hard to define room spaces. So this is actually something I really like personally. And you've got a double sink in the master plus a finished basement. So you're talking about a, a pretty large home. So 2172 square feet plus an entire finished basement. Uh, you compare that to what you get with Mattamy, maybe 20, 2100 square feet for the same price. And I definitely think that it's got some value. I think that it'll probably get snapped up within a week or two. Uh, this one on cost again, I think they need to adjust the white balance in their camera a bit. It's 509. It's a double car garage. 
And uh, I, I can't believe what goes on with some of these photos. It just blows my mind. It's a four bedroom though. So, you know, they're, good. they're still gonna get action at 509. By far though, I would definitely take this one on Fenimore. I believe it sides onto Scott, but it backs onto green space. It's some gorgeous views off the back of this one. There's the living dining here. Very popular Quincy corner, about 1,900 square feet. Nice looking kitchen. And I wouldn't be surprised if these guys got very co close to list, possibly even over list. You've got an extended backyard here too. That black fence is the municipal. I don't know why they didn't do a shot of the actual green space behind. To me, that's one of the hugest value features and you can't be too obvious about those kind of things. Uh, but it, anyways, it's still a good home. It's going to sell fast. Holdsworth is at 524.9 and it's basically just one big open room. And, uh, and then you've got your kitchen beside it. And uh, there you go, there's your kitchen. The, the, the nice little molding around the top makes a big difference. Four good sized rooms upstairs. And the uh, this is a sundial home, so typically you're looking at about 100 feet in the yard, which is always a good thing. Mockridge, I think, is 23, 2400 square feet. It's got the nice uh, white pickets and uh, risers. And so good looking stuff around here. Those kitchen cabinets, you'd have to see them in person to really get an impression on them. But uh, the split levels, I think, are, uh, are great homes for certain kinds of people. Some people just do not like them at all. So they tend to split buyers in half, I find. Some, some love them, some don't. What you usually find is there's a good uh, th there's a good size window usually in the basement because of the elevation in the half levels. Now, Lederman, 575. Uh, this one looks almost like, I've, I've talked about this, there's a couple homes that almost look like Craigslist ads. And there you go, we've got a coffee table for sale, we've got a dining room set for sale, and uh, a table and chairs, and we've got a bed for sale. I mean, that's, like, I don't know what they're, they're showing in the house. The kitchen actually looks good. You've got a uh, four bedrooms plus a loft upstairs. And uh, yeah, so let's see what happens with it. If they do sell, it would be in spite of the pictures. Saveline is at 669. It's a Sutton Hills. One of my favorite models. I like the elevation here with the uh, with the stone and stucco. Uh, so you come in the house and you've got a nice defined entryway. And then you get into the kitchen. You've got a living dining plus a family room. And uh, everything looks like it's done extremely well. Not a lot of wide angles on the lenses, so the rooms do look a bit smaller than they probably are in real life. And then you've got 94 feet in the back, which is about 15 feet longer than what most of them are in, in the area. So all good stuff. I think 669, if it's really nice inside, they may have an audience on this one. You can buy bigger homes uh, for the money. And you start to see things like finished basements at that size level for that money. So if it's nice, it might compete. Wheel hand, 1.195. And it's a nice uh, Cape Cod look. It's beautiful inside. I really like the look of this one. And uh, I think it has a lot to offer. It's on about an acre lot. It's got a pool. Nice trees, you've got a sloping lot here, you've got a bit of a garden you can hang out in. Really like that Cape Cod look, it's got a uh, double car garage, it looks like it's uh, about 4,700 square feet of living space, so probably about 3,400 on the main, and then you also have your basement as well. Nice stuff there, really, really nice. I like the fact that there's also a little guest suite above the garage, that can really make a big difference. And then we've got a big daddy over on Appleby, and uh, so Appleby and Dairy is what it says. So you're starting to get along the escarpment. You're starting to get some nice views. 4.45. You wonder if that view is worth a million bucks. Hard to say. But they don't show the view in the pictures. And this is a little bit dark. It's not the photo gallery I would expect for a home at this caliber. Now, it is hard to sell a home at this level uh, regardless because you only have nine pictures you only have 400 characters, but I would still anticipate that they would have done, you know, a real sort of HDR, a nice pro gallery here. But maybe that's to come. Maybe that's something coming along. It's about 20 acres, this one here. Finished walkout basement, and uh, you're talking about two full state-of-the-art kitchens. You're basically buying two homes in one, it looks like. But it's really, really hard to establish value on something like this without seeing it in person. So anyways, that's the list for today. 26 properties. And if you need our help, reach out to us. You're part of the Milton Daily Homes family. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.